Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge. Today I am cracking open a shiny new game that I picked up at Origins Game Fair 2023. This is Reality Shift Deluxe, a rather heavy box with some of the coolest board game components I've ever seen and which form one of the neatest racing games I've ever actually played. Now, I haven't played a full game of this. I did one demo at Origins and that's it. That was enough to convince me to bring a copy home. Now, I do have to thank Academy Games for giving us a review copy, which was awesome. I wasn't expecting that. So we brought this one home from Origins. I'm going to crack open the shrink and I want to show you the components in this because they are really cool. And maybe there'll be some surprises as well. Maybe there was something we didn't see on the demo table. But to get that started, first thing I'm going to have to do is cut the shrink wrap off, and then we'll open up the box by swapping the camera down. All right, here you have my copy of Reality Shift Deluxe. Um, note, it does say Apollo Games, so I think Academy Games is the North American uh, distributor of this. We did get our copy from Academy Games. So for those that care, here are the sides of the box. Which again, I always appreciate when they put it both horizontally and vertically. So depending on how you like to store your games, you're all good. Then you get the very colorful back of the box that actually kind of walks you through how the game works. Um, this is a two to five player racing game. It says 20 minutes, but like I'm pretty sure your first couple games are going to take longer than that. But that's more about experience with the game and learning how to best manipulate the board, which we'll get to see in a minute. So we're going to crack this open. First off, we have a game catalog from academy and apollo so they're both on here um they make some fantastic mostly historic games so it's interesting to have these so i'm not going to go through the whole thing promotional materials then we have the rule book which and then the deluxe edition rules so these are separate let's uh take a quick look at these put that off to the side i'm just going to flip through this really quick there you get to see the board, which I'm going to set one up because I don't see why I wouldn't. With a component list, how to set up, uh, you can tell it's going to be a fairly quick one. Lot, uh, Quite a few examples on how to move. I don't love the the We Are, we are Technical Text um, Dot Matrix printer font, but at least it's fairly large. And that's it. Fairly simple. Then we have the various new expansions in the Deluxe Edition. So the Deluxe Edition doesn't necessarily mean better components but it does give you more components there's only nine blocks in the original game for example and then here is all the different stuff so there's like the white mystery racer there's the board which i'll show off the board is actually very cool um and then other things that have changed because of the new cards new type of ships battle modes and then all kinds of new setups using the advanced uh the expansion for all of this like we're gonna race on that that is that not cool so that's what we get in the rule book Next, we have a very, very uh, simple punch board. These just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What these are actually for, we'll see if they can show up here. So what these are for is if you hit a checkpoint. So if you hit the number one checkpoint, you take the counter and then you know you're at number one and can respawn there. Now, here is the board. Again, this is unique to the deluxe edition. The game does not normally have a board. You would just set up a three by three grid of cubes, which you can kind of see those there. And then, um, but what I love is the other side of this. So this is the basic. And yes, I keep saying cubes because this is the board. This is what you are playing with in this game is these cubes. Like this is a, a chunky cube that is going to go out and that you're going to race on. So this just gives you kind of a guide on where to place the cubes. That's, that's what this, this, this board gives you. But what I love is this side actually has racetrack on it, which means you can go off the edge of this cube onto the board and possibly go on and off. And it does the Pac-Man thing where you can teleport out one end and come to the other. I thought that was a really neat addition. Now this board's really busy, so I'm gonna move it out of the way so it's not distracting while I show off these cubes. So in the base game, you get nine cubes. In the deluxe, you actually get 12 cubes. These are gonna form your board. I'm gonna try to find the um the start spot this cube i have no clue that's got to be an expansion one see there's i told you there might be stuff in here that um that i hadn't seen before so here so here is the start cube so you're going to start your race here you're going to set up a board somehow and you're going to end i'm trying to find it there'll be an end cube in here somewhere still not seeing an end cube 
Where's the end cube? Still not seeing an end cube. There it is. There's the end cube. So again, we've got some extras here. So I'm just going to toss these back in the box. I'm going to make a, try to make a legit setup here really quickly. So one of the things is when you first start the game, you have to have all four of the colors showing. What am I missing? Green? Yes. And then the rest are white. So here you have the pieces. Then we've got some dice in the ships. So you're going to start your turn by rolling a die. It tells you how far you're going to move. Note this isn't each. See how these are all grouped together? Because they're magnets. So here's all our ships all grouped up. And the whole thing is, say I was playing red, I start on the green. Well, I could start anywhere. I can start down there. Or I could start over here on the side of the cube. So look at that. Magnetic pieces. Is that not cool? And then your goal is to race through here and over here and over here and eventually get to this end. What you can't see is not possible, but you're going to use cards to manipulate the board. So we're going to crack open these cards. All right, we start off with a little promo card. But look at that. That, slide any cube or discard this card to move five. Well, slide any cube means I could do this. And now the board's changed. So we have a whole bunch of slides. Then you have rotate. That's rotated on an axis. This cube could go up here and possibly crush someone and so on. Blue cubes only manipulate blue things, green, yellow, red. Nice, simple iconography, and then some player summary cards. So to kind of show off one of these cards here, you can see just how easy that is to read. Unfortunately, there's a lot of blue on these cards too. I should have went with a green. So move three or slide a cube. So we're just gonna stick some of these guys on here just to kind of show it. And like I said, they, they can go on the edges. You can literally race up the edge. Now these cubes do uh, kind of nest if you get them in the right spot. See, they kind of lock together so that, um, kind of show that here. See, they lock together. They're made to stack and kind of lock so they don't slide around on you. See? And we have the deluxe. So this is the expansion cards. Along with what we had in the original, there are little player summary cards in the four different colors and checkpoint cards again to kind of keep track of who's hit what checkpoint. You have the tokens in case multiple players hit a checkpoint. We're going to take a quick look at the expansion cards. Oh, okay. It's the, it's the white player reference card. That's all that is. White player reference card and power ups. You can see this spot on this cube. You pass through there. You stop on there or pass through. I can't remember which you get to get a power up card. Giving you neat, cool abilities. I got to say, this is one of the most impressive physical presence games that I now own. Oh, the red guy happens to be here. I turned it. Oh, he's crushed. He has to respawn back on the green. What a neat looking game. That's it. We've got a really odd insert in here that I guess is functional. It, it holds the cube separate from everything else. We're going to collect our ships and put all this back. This is deluxe edition. The standard edition would only come with nine cubes and four players, not five. And the big bonus, I think, also is the player board for the deluxe edition. And honestly, I would say at this point, having only done a demo, I don't know why this one's making bad sounds compared to the other ones, is is this board is, is a great thing. Like, I would just strongly recommend just pick up the deluxe if you could. Oh, another bonus I should call out. Uh, for those of you with color blindness issues, there are symbols to tell you. So the red has a triangle, the white has an octagon, the yellow has a, a rectangle, the blue has a, whatever that three prong shape is. So good design there from Academy Games. That's appreciated. Or the other company. All right, there you have it. What you get in the box with the deluxe edition of Reality Shift, a racing game in three dimensions using awesome chonky cubes to make your, your racetrack, your game board, and magnetic uh, jet bike things to race over them. I got to do a demo of this at Origins. I was extremely impressed. This is a very cool racing game. Plus, it has fantastic table presence. I am really impressed by what I've seen so far, and I can't wait to get to this to the table. 
Now, when I do get this to the table, I will be sharing my thoughts on social media, where you can find me everywhere as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You'll be able to find uh, more information and a full review at, at some point at TabletopBellhop.com. And we'll be talking about it on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which you can find on your podcatcher of choice. Thank you for joining me for this Reality Shift Deluxe unboxing video.